My name is Yuri Lowenthal, and on uh, Ben 10 Alien Force, I play uh, Ben Tennyson at age 15. Piece of cake. Ben 10 is just any average teenager. He's any average 15-year-old. Um, the only difference is he has this watch who can kind of turn him into any alien in the universe. I am Dee Baker. I am the voices of the aliens in Ben 10, Alien Force. Large and in charge. The most challenging part of recording for a video game, one is definitely being alone as you normally are in this situation and having to, to work alone and create everything uh, just with the help of the you know with the director. Uh, is yeah. it the is it the blowing back sound exactly. or is it the hitting the ground? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, give me kind of a variety of both. I come in with an idea, sometimes I get to see a drawing, sometimes all I get is a name. Um, and they might give me maybe a couple of adjectives to help out with that. Just a little bit more on fire. Like okay, uh, well, Clint okay. Eastwoodish kind of but I yeah. Oh that'd be a cool one. It's usually up to the, the creative team to let us know how big the alien is or how far away the alien is or how vicious the alien is, how scared we should be of this alien. And then you come across the hybrid commander as he um, is mad and uh, Kevin says, what do they mean by that? We better find out. Gwen, can you track him? From a physical standpoint, it, uh, it can be grueling sometimes because you've got a lot of uh, video games are, are you know struggle and fight and and screaming and you know dying and running and and you have to go through those things in the booth so vocally that can get get exhausting after a while for instance humongousaur that can be very challenging because it's really more of a straight ahead voice and when he gets mad or is yelling a lot it can be very taxing on my voice you were in big trouble. Whereas the other ones, like, you know, the DNA aliens or something, would you more think of that? You know, that's, that is not hard on my voice, and it's, it's a lot easier, and, and it's more bizarre and more fun. So I, I like doing those better. What's neat about the game is we get to see the characters kind of differently than we see on the on the series. I mean, Jet Ray, just to see him moving around in 3D is, is just, it's cool. It's just so different. Kind of on the show, we only get to see snippets of things. It's cool to see the characters moving around in space and moving around in these different environments and just that it's interactive. I mean, just watching the show is one thing, but being able to kind of control and manipulate the characters is completely different. character am I looking forward to playing the most? Ben Tennyson as Ben, because that's me. Some of my favorite Ben 10 alien characters are um, Jet Ray. He's sort of a manta ray who can fly really fast. The character I'm most looking forward to playing in the game is Spider Monkey. Spider Monkey! <gasps> it wouldn't hurt to put these things a little closer together, you know? <laughs> There's something goofy and cool all at the same time about Spider Monkey. <laughs> What do I think uh, people's reactions to the game will be? Well, I obviously hope that they're they're thrilled, um, and I hope we get I hope we get people who don't know the show, as well as uh, the fans of the show. Primarily, you know, I want I want to do it for the the fans of the show. They're always they're always closest to my heart. I can't give away any spoilers, but pay close attention to the end of the game. I can't do it without Grandpa. You are Ben Tennyson. He is Are you sure? I'm sure. Ben 10 Alien Force. Go full force. Volume 1. Own it on DVD. And that's just the beginning. After I upgraded that Kinesella and Drive unit, I got more than 50% increase in power. Yep. 
I bet this baby could give any car on the road a run for its money. And yet it can't get us to the amusement pier before I'm bored to tears. I don't remember inviting you along. If you don't like the company, you can always just slap that watch of yours and fly, or ooze, or whatever, wherever you want. I'm not stopping you. Fine by me. Whoa, wait! Not in the car! Ben, wait! Kevin, what is that? Your plumber's badge? No, but you're not far off. It's a tracking system. I installed it this last week, but it doesn't track plumber's badges. It tracks uncatalogued alien tech. Stuff that might be valuable. Um, you know, valuable for research and stuff. Yeah, well, whatever that is, it's powerful and close. I'd better check it out. You two go ahead to the amusement pier. I'll meet you there. No need. Looks like whatever it is, it's not far from the pier. We can be there in no time. Yeah. Kevin and I can stay in the car and watch you on the tracker. We'll keep in touch and give you a heads up if anything comes your way. Oh, great. Forever nights. And I bet they're after the same thing we are. We need to get down there, fast. No problemo. Hang on. Thank you for your help. You're just as skilled as they say, Ben Tennyson. Should I know who you are? No, but I know you. More accurately, I know, uh, knew your grandfather, Max Tennyson. Hey, next time why bother stopping? Just run me over. I'll keep that in mind. Who's your forearm friend? I prefer Tetramand. And the name is Gorvan. I presume this is your cousin Gwendolyn? And he is your... Kevin. Gwen, Gorvin is a plumber. He knows Grandpa Max. Your grandfather and I were acquainted several years ago. I have been away since then. I only just arrived back on Earth. And you're already making new friends, I see. Kevin, you don't have to be rude. Yeah, would it kill you to, you know, not be a jerk for once? Haven't we already learned our lesson about automatically trusting everybody? We don't know who this guy is. Just because he's got a plumber's badge doesn't mean he's really a plumber. No. Your friend, though not exactly tactful, is right. You deserve an explanation. First, I am indeed a plumber. Earth isn't my patrol sector, but I was dispatched here on an urgent mission. What kind of mission? Have you ever heard of a race of aliens that calls themselves the High Breed? Yeah. We've dealt with those creeps before. Grandpa Max was investigating them before he... Anyway, we've been running into them more and more often lately. Well, the hybrid are up to something here on Earth. They seem to be collecting pieces of alien technology, like this one. That's a Pyronite Plasma Oscillator. Even I wouldn't mess with something that dangerous. What do the hybrid want with that? Hmm. Good question. We're not sure. But, there are several other alien components the hybrid are supposedly looking for. I'm hoping we'll find some clues along the way while we're retrieving the other components. You mean you want our help? Yes. That is, if you, your cousin, and your friend here wouldn't mind. My search would go a lot faster if you did the legwork while I coordinated from the local plumber base. Absolutely. You bet. No way. Two to one. Overruled. We're in. Excellent. The plumber's base is not far from here, in the mountains to the east. By now, the instruments have probably located at least one of the other components. Why don't you lead? We'll follow you. What? The shocks would be toast after a mile if I let that behemoth ride shotgun. I'm not wrecking my car for some alien I just met. He walked here, he can walk back. Anybody ever tell you your priorities are a little out of whack? Anybody ever tell you that walking is good exercise? Anybody ever tell both of you that your constant arguing is getting old? Oh wait, that would be me. Every day. Yeah, nice.
nice place if you're a bat. This place is huge. It was one of the largest plumber bases in the area when it was active. This is just the main level. The structure extends deep into the caves below. I could spend hours exploring this place. Unfortunately, there is no time for that. I have been using this detector to locate the alien devices I've been sent to retrieve. And it has found another one. A Patropian focusing array in a wooded area not far from here. That's Avalon Forest. Yeah, the Forever Knights have been using that place as a hideout for years. No problem, I'll take care of it. I better go with you. I know that place pretty well. I brokered a deal in the forest a while back. I know a thing or two about their security systems. Man, this is seriously advanced. I bet it could focus a huge amount of energy. Hey, did they take away your manners when they gave you a plumber's badge? Sorry, it's just... Well, this is a very sensitive piece of equipment, and my instructions are to take care of it personally. I'll just take it below, for safekeeping. Thanks for your help. What's his problem? I don't know where he's sending us. There's nothing but sand out here. Gorvan, are we getting close? I'm sending the information to your screen now. You should be very close to the entrance. The entrance to what? I'm guessing the entrance to that. A military base? I didn't know this was here. It is a top secret missile base and test range. They were conducting weapons tests yesterday and something was uncovered. We think it's this. Hey, I know what that is. It's part of an industrial water conditioning system. They use it on aquatic worlds to lower the ambient temperature near geothermal vents. I thought your alien tech knowledge was limited to weapons and auto parts. What did you do, brush up against a scientist and accidentally absorb his brain? Hey, it's not like you guys get to corner the market on geekiness. I know stuff too. Like, well, a lot of stuff. Gorvin, are you sure it's in this base? Either inside or somewhere on the grounds, yes. And you need to hurry. I'm detecting lots of activity. Either the soldiers are trying to recover the device, or someone or something else is trying to beat them to it. All right, we're on it. Kevin, aren't you coming? Nah, maybe we should all just stick to what we know. You go and fight alien bad guys, and I'll just sit here and think about auto parts. So, now what? We can't just break in, it's government property. Well, that door is open, so it wouldn't technically be breaking in. You go inside and see if you can find a way to bypass the security systems. What about you? Me? I'm going in through the front door. Excellent. You managed to retrieve it. Yeah. Not that Volcanus was too keen on the idea. Volcanus, yes. He has been meddling quite a lot in our business. He'll have to be dealt with eventually. What do you mean, dealt with? Oh, um, just that the plumbers will have to open a formal case. He seems rather troublesome. That's an understatement. Yes. Well, I'd better put this away for safekeeping. Hey, wait a minute! I'm telling you. That guy is trouble. I don't trust him. He's hiding something. Yeah, I think you're right. Look, I spent my share of time being the bad guy, and you kind of develop a sixth sense about... Wait, wait. You what now? I said I think you're right. I don't trust him either. Well, okay then. If you two actually agree on something, it's gotta be worth checking out. It certainly couldn't hurt to do a little digging. Yeah, but we better wait until we know he'll be distracted for a while. Then Gwen can hack into the computers in this place and find out what it is that Gorvin is hiding. While I was on my way back here, I believe I had a flash of brilliance. A legend in his own mind. Ow! Ah, there it is. It looks like it's in Parkville. That's a town near the mountains north of here. Yes, but I can't pinpoint the exact location. The power signature was particularly hard to find. It must be well hidden and shielded. What's that all about? It's nothing. The 
plumbers are requesting an account of our progress. Don't let us stop you. Radio's right there. I must report in person. My contact is meeting me shortly at the underground entrance below. I cannot discuss important matters on an unencrypted channel. You should go to Parkville as quickly as possible. All three of you. If you split up and search, you'll have a better chance of finding the object quickly. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, here's our chance. You two stay here and see what you can find in the computer. I'll take care of this one on my own. Gorvin. Still hanging out with the bats downstairs, I guess. Yeah, and it's a good thing. I haven't gotten anywhere with this computer. Everything's locked out. I did find a file cross-linked to Gorvin's record that looks like it was recorded by Grandpa Max. But even that's password protected. What's the date on the file? Just over five years ago. Why? Hmm. Let me give it a try. I've been at this for hours. What did you type? Flutterworms. Yeah, Grandpa Max considered them a delicacy. Especially live. I totally forgot about those things. He never made you try them. Yeah. Log file continued. Subject, investigation of the plumber, Magister Gorvin. Grandpa Max! Our ongoing investigation has tracked the missing alien tech to Gorvin. But he apparently disposed of or sold the items before we could recover them. Gorvin has also disappeared. At this point, we have no way to know why the tech was stolen or who might have it now. We have issued a galactic, rim-wide alert for Gorvin. He is considered to be extremely dangerous and possibly armed. With weapons, that is. If encountered, he is to be placed into custody immediately. End log. Gorvin is a fugitive! Earth is the perfect place to hide since there aren't any full-time plumbers stationed here anymore. And if he's still in the business of stealing alien tech... Then we've been doing his dirty work for him. We've got to stop him and find out what he's doing with all this tech. Kevin, why don't you... Where'd he go? Ben, look! He must have used his plumber's badge to open the door. I bet he went to find Gorvin. I better go after him. There's no telling how dangerous Gorvin will be when he finds out we know his secret. Whoa. Kevin? Kevin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You're not gonna believe what I found. Gorvin has been hiding tons of alien tech, and it looks like most of it is hybrid stuff. But you haven't found Gorvin? Nah, not yet. But oh man, there are a ton of Xenocyte eggs down here. This is not good. Eggs? Kevin, just stay put and don't touch anything. Ben is a- Gwen? Hello? Whatever. That four-armed phony has probably bugged out. Not that I couldn't take him myself anyway. You think so? Well, my young meddling friend, I'm sorry to inform you that you aren't worth my time. I usually let my little friends handle the light work. Friends? What friends? Oh, those friends. Right. Well, you guys must have loads to talk about, so I'll just take off now. Kevin, don't worry, I can help you. I don't need your help. I've never felt better in my life. You know, I forgot how much fun it is to be the bad guy. Uh, uh. Okay, Kevin, let's try this again. Is so not fun. Oh, my head. What happened? I found you in here. 
You were antisocial, angry, and had a xenocyte stuck to you. And now I I'm back to normal? Yep. No more xenocyte. Now you're just antisocial and angry. Nice. Well, while you've been messing around in here, Gorvin's getting away. You're welcome. Whoa. You're in no shape to fight. Get back up to the control room when you can and stay with Gwen. I'll track down Gorvin and take care of him myself. So you get anything out of the forearm felon? No, but he's out of commission. I found some holding cells below. Guys, I scanned the whole base. There's no sign of any of the tech that Gorvin tricked us into stealing. At least Gorvin didn't have a chance to give that to the hybrid. Yeah, it's a good thing too. No telling what somebody could do with that if they were up to no good. Um... You guys mind telling me what exactly that is? It's called the Sub-Energy. It's a subatomic energy source. One of the most powerful in the galaxy. An alien race gave one to the plumbers years ago. It was stolen by an ex-plumber named Driscoll. Sounds like the plumber should have a better employee screening process. We thought that was the only sub-energy on Earth, but this can't be the same one. Ben destroyed that one. Well, wherever it came from, we need to make sure it doesn't get into the bad guy's hands. If you destroyed the last one, you can take care of this one, right? Oh man, I was just starting to be able to eat spicy foods again. Interference has forced me to deal with you, Vermin, directly, and obtain this energy source myself. No matter. When we have completed our objective, you and your entire genetically inferior race will no longer be in any position to meddle in the affairs of the hybrid. What did he mean by that? We'd better find out. Gwen, can you track him? Normally there'd be no way to do it, but the sub-energy is so powerful I should be able to find it if it's anywhere within a thousand miles. Got it. Oh no. Look at this. This is a satellite view not far outside Bellwood. A hybrid weather tower. No big deal. We've dealt with those before. Not one like this. Okay. That's bad. If one weather tower can freeze a whole town, an array like this one could freeze the entire coast. Maybe even half the country. We're responsible for this. We let Gorvan trick us into getting those components. And now, it's up to us to destroy that weather array. These paths the hybrids cut through the fields might wreck the environment, but they sure make great roads. Not to mention, they lead right where we need to go. I guess we just drive right up to the weather array and start kicking alien butt. Looks like the butt kicking might start before we get there. Maybe we can throw them off if we split up. You guys head down the road and see if you can find another way through to the array. I'll take care of these guys and continue on foot. Well, this is a team, and I vote we stick together. Two to one. Overruled. Wait just a minute. Yeah, kinda stinks when you're on the losing end of that, huh? I'm not too far away, but I think I might be able to disable the array from here. How? I found the hybrid command ship, and it looks like it's the focal point of the circuit patterns. Maybe if I can somehow get the ship to take off, it'll break the circuit and shut the whole thing down. You're planning to take on an entire hybrid command ship alone? I'm gonna try. You and Kevin keep going. If this doesn't work, you'll still have to shut down that array. Gwen, I found the entrance to the ship. It's open and there are no guards around. Guess I lucked out. Ben, you sh go inside. Care probably a trap. Gwen, I'm losing you. It must be interference from the ship. Ben, don't go in. Sorry, Gwen, I can't hear you. I'm going in. I'll contact you as soon as I can. Now all I have to do is find the autopilot controls, activate them, and get out before the ship takes off. Piece of cake. You're out of here. And as soon as you are, that weather array is offline. Permanently. <laughs> your actions only serve to prove the inferiority of your species. Removing this vessel from the circuitry grid does not deactivate the weather array. The ship's departure initiates the startup sequence. <laughs> oh boy. You see? 
might have set back our plans the last time we encountered you. But this time, it is you who have set our plans in motion. You gathered the components needed for our weather array, and you made sure the array was activated in a timely manner. And now... Now, you will watch as your people slowly freeze to death as our weather array makes this portion of your planet suitable for habitation by the one true race! Him. I don't know if that's such a hot idea. I think that thing is almost at full power. If we go and help Ben now, we'll never get back in time to stop it. That's probably the control room floating up above the array. I don't see any way to get up there. What should we do? Go after the towers, I guess. Looks like there's a force field protecting each one. We'll split up, divide and conquer. I'll head out to the east and you head west. We'll circle the closest tower, take out whatever equipment that generates the force field, and we'll meet on the other side. I hope Ben will be all right. Don't worry. He can take care of himself. He's pretty tough. And if you ever tell him I said that, I'll deny it. Come on, let's get going. Okay? Fine. Looks like we took out the force field on Tower 1. Yeah, and I still don't see any way to get to that control room. Me neither. If we can't get inside, how do we stop this thing? We could try to take out the tower, now that the force field is down. Maybe. Uh... No way. Even with our combined powers, we can't destroy that thing. It's just too big. Did someone say... Big? About time you got here, we were starting to think we'd have to do all the work around here. Ben, you have to hurry. If you don't destroy those towers soon, I don't know if we'll be able to reverse the damage. No problem. I got this covered. I guess that's it. Piece of cake. Not so fast, Tennyson. Looks like the control room is still up and running. Well, not as up as it used to be, but... We need to make sure none of this tech gets into the wrong hands. I should be able to access the shutdown sequence from here. Um, why don't you let Gwen take care of that? She's good at that stuff. And you're like, nah. Just a few seconds. Almost got it. There! Whoa, what's that? No idea. Maybe if I... Uh-oh. Told you you should have let Gwen do it. Um, guys, I think we need to get out of here now. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to worry about getting the alien tech. What say we call it a day and go grab some smoothies? So, what do you think the hybrid are up to? They had their DNA aliens crawling all over this place. I say we've got them on the run now. This place was probably their main base on Earth. I don't think so. We need to keep our eyes open. I think this is just the beginning. Whatever the hybrid are planning, I have a feeling it's something really big. Oh. 